guys, um, not many of you know that I have a daughter, she's seven years old and she's so adorable and yeah, she's the biggest fan of my art. Uh, but recently I understood that I'm doing wrong, I'm making a mistake uh, because you know half of the clothes which I create here on my YouTube channel I'm wearing on a daily basis. I have a full wardrobe of unique hand-painted clothes. Uh, but my daughter, she has only one hand-painted denim jacket. Uh, because, no, you know, I was thinking that like she's just a child, she's growing up so fast, her size is changing every half a year. Like, why will I spend so much time on clothes which she won't wear for that so long? Um, but recently she started to ask uh, questions, <laughs> very tough questions, like Mommy, why are you wearing so unique, interesting, beautiful clothes and I'm wearing these basic children clothes? Like, what's happening? What is going on? And you know, I understood that she's right, uh, because she's seven years old, she started to think about uh, her clothes, her outfits, and she wants to look beautiful and she started to develop her own style. And now is the right time to introduce her to hand paint clothes because I want her to wear such clothes in the future as well. I want her to have a unique style. Uh, and actually I'm keeping a lot of clothes for her uh, to wear when she's grown up. Um, I hope she'll wear them. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna surprise her in this video. Like she knows that I'm gonna paint clothes for her, but she doesn't know what I'm gonna paint. And she will be very surprised because I have so beautiful ideas and I'm so excited. <laughs> so let's get started. So my today's customer is very girly. She's definitely not a tomboy. She's very girly. She loves everything cute, pink, like actually her favorite color is purple, but she definitely loves everything cute. Uh, she has such long hair which she doesn't want to cut. And yeah, she's very girly. So I'm gonna respect uh, her style and her choices and I'm gonna create something very cute for her. And I bought two pieces, a leather jacket, such a beautiful soft pink color leather jacket and jeans, white jeans. And I'm gonna start with a leather jacket, I have a beautiful idea, I'm gonna create a magical creature on the back of the leather jacket and then I'm gonna add uh, some more magical elements uh, because she loves everything about magic and for the jeans um, I don't have the idea now, but I still have time to think uh, about the idea because I'm gonna start with a leather jacket. <laughs> and first I want to apologize for my voice. I got sick the day I had to make this voiceover. Uh, so here is the design which I'm gonna create. It's a magical fox, such anime kawaii inspired fox. I'm gonna paint it at the center of a leather jacket and then I'm gonna add some uh, elements on the sleeves, on the hem. And the first step is degreasing leather. It's an important step in leather customization. I'm using alcohol, uh, I'm using cologne. And now I'm gonna transfer design from paper onto a jacket. Uh, first I'm cutting out uh, fox. Uh, it's gonna be such kind of a stencil. I'm gonna outline it and in such a way I will create the shape of the fox on the jacket. And this way of transferring designs onto leather jackets I've discovered recently uh, I have video on my channel where I show how to customize leather jackets and there I transferred my design in a very weird way. So if you are watching this video you are lucky because now you know how to transfer your designs in the right way. And now I'm creating base layer using white color fabric paint. Uh, I'm using uh, fabric paints of brand Pebeo because they work on leather. But actually I recommend to use special leather paints if you work with leather. I'm gonna use this base layer as a layer for transferring uh, all other elements like eyes, nose, uh, using carbon paper. Because carbon paper doesn't work on leather, but it works on painted leather on a base layer. And now I'm painting my fox with colors. I'm gonna use beautiful pastel colors. Turquoise, purple, uh, pink, <laughs> all the cute pastel colors. So working with leather for me is such a pleasure <laughs> because it's much easier to apply paint on leather rather than on denim for example because denim is such a rough fabric and leather is so smooth. 
Uh, so I always recommend to the beginners uh, to uh, customize leather, leather jackets, leather pants, or leather bags. Like there are so many possibilities uh, of leather customization. And um, yeah, I customized a denim jacket for my daughter, and I spent so much time on it. And I think that I will spend half of the time on this leather jacket, just because of it's much easier to apply paint on leather fabric. And now I'm gonna create a motion effect near the fox, because fox is flying, and a couple of stars, which will create such magical atmosphere. And I'm gonna write magic spirit on the sleeves, magic on one sleeve and spirit on another sleeve. Uh, and of course I chose font appropriate for my design, such cute curvy font. trying to write freehand. Uh, first I'm uh, using a marker which I can easily erase from the leather and then uh, I'm applying colors uh, because it would have been like hard to transfer font from paper onto a jacket. Uh, it's much easier to write it freehand. And now I have front side to customize, uh, but I don't like uh, to create too busy design on the front side. Mostly I create such busy design on the back side. And on the front side, just some elements which will support the idea of my customization. And here is the same, I'm not going to transfer anything. I'm using marker and then I'm going to apply paint because I'm going to create just some simple elements on the front side. And here, as you can see, I'm not using a base layer because base layer actually is not necessary here as it's such a light color jacket. Uh, but base layer is necessary for carbon paper if you want to use carbon paper and transfer your design. And then I decided to customize hem of the jacket. I decided to paint magic diamonds on the hem because diamonds are the girl's best friends as Marilyn Monroe said <laughs> and I think that diamonds will complete my customization, my design. And the last step is varnishing. Yes, on the leather you don't use heat set, but you varnishing to protect from scratches and from damages. Uh, I'm using uh, varnish for leather. Yeah, if you want to customize leather jacket, you need to search for varnish for leather. A lot of brands produce such varnishes. And I'm gonna paint jeans and I'm gonna use my favorite tool for developing the idea is Pinterest. I just searched for cute soft aesthetic and I found uh, this aesthetic. I don't know the name of this aesthetic, probably something 70s inspired, I don't know, but um, she's definitely gonna love this aesthetic. Yeah, I have a lot of references here and I'm gonna create design based on uh, this beautiful, soft, cute aesthetic. 
And as my design will not have any complicated images, just simple images like butterflies, smiley face, a couple of quotes, I will not use carbon paper, but I'm gonna paint freehand again. Uh, first, I'm gonna use pencil um, just to sketch out um, these elements to create a composition. And then I'm gonna paint directly with colors. Yeah, and here I'm using a marker too, but this time I'm not able to erase it, it's a fabric marker. I'm using it uh, to make uh, my design visible, as I used hard pencil uh, to sketch out design, so I can't quite uh, see the lines very clear, so I'm using fabric marker to outline all the elements. And here I'm going to use pastel colors too, but I'm going to use a lot of green color. It's going to be such a happy spring customization <laughs> because it gives me such spring vibes. You know, first I was thinking to create leather jacket and jeans in one aesthetic, so she could wear them together. But then I thought that it would be much more interesting uh, uh, to create two different aesthetics, two different ideas. So, she will be able to create many many different outfits with these uh, jeans and leather jacket. And it's so easy to work with clear aesthetic like the aesthetic I found on Pinterest because I can see uh, like the elements which I can include, the colors which you can use, the font which I can write with and uh, like seeing the aesthetic of course I can be creative too. I can write whatever I want, I can create composition however I want like I can place elements in the way I want um, so yeah if you are a beginner I definitely recommend you to find aesthetic and work with it and then you will have a beautiful design and you know I'm so happy that I started to paint clothes for my daughter I want her to wear only hand paint clothes from now on I want her to look unique because actually it's not so easy to find a beautiful children clothes uh, some brands produce very tacky children clothes some brands produce adult children clothes i mean such minimalistic with no prints but i think that children should wear such fun such joyful pieces i don't know because childhood is the most beautiful time of our existence uh, yeah, so I hope that I will be able to find the time to create uh, more clothes for my daughter. Well guys, now is the most exciting part. I'm gonna show clothes to my daughter and I hope she will like them. Actually, I think that she will like them because they turned out so cute. And then I will ask her to wear clothes and strike a pose. And I'm gonna ask you to support this video with your like and subscribe if you are new here for more painting on clothes videos. And here is the final result.
that I had guts enough to flirt a little, but I'm too scared.